All right, guys, today I'm giving away all the secrets. We're gonna create the cleanest, the most crisp, you know, it's the nicest typography animations that we can create inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on, internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I understand that creating typography might be something that should be easy, but really there's a lot of small hidden techniques that we can implement just to create some really nice techniques. So I broke the video into a few different tips so we can easily follow along from each step so we can understand the process. So in our first tip, we need to talk about fonts. So here are some fonts that I use and here we go. Fire of Sands, Lotto, Gotham, Beat Baz, New U, and Monsterot. You know what, since I'm gonna butcher this one, I'm gonna make it up on my own. How about this? And so we'll call this Mont, Sarah, and the T is silent. And all these typefaces are in the Adobe Type Kit, except for Gotham, but all these typefaces have different fonts, so you can range it from light all the way to, you know, bold to heavy. And these are my five favorite typefaces I enjoy using, and I stick with these fonts because this is part of my style. And, you know, if you use similar elements across, you know, your work, you're gonna build consistency and start to form your own personal style within your work. So now that we know of some typefaces that we can use, we need to talk about layout. So first we're gonna wanna add our title. Well, uh, that was too easy. This is one of our titles out of our template here that we have over 400 templates of uh, that we can easily add in After Effects. I'll talk a little bit about that later. But first let's grab the text title tool. Okay, so first we gotta talk about how to make this look nice. I'm using the typeface Fire of Sands. And first thing I want to do is we got to talk about layout here. Notice how, you know, we have two words here and, you know, nothing special is going on here. We need to be able to create some, you know, contrast and make this look appealing. So first what we're going to do is grab the text tool, tool again, grab, say, the second word. And, you know, it's always good to try to create some contrast. So I'm going to set this to light. And, you know, now we got some contrast, but it's still not there. Let's go ahead and make the second word a little bit smaller. All right, awesome. Now, the only thing about this is that the words are too far apart. You got to think about, you know, spacing here. So we'll grab both these words and there's a parameter called leading, which we can, you know, bring these closer together. And notice that I'm doing this on the same text layer, which makes it really easy to keep track of and to animate. So far, this is looking pretty nice and you can come to the align tab and center this up. If you don't see the align tab, go up to window align. And this is right in the middle of our composition and that looks clean. The one thing you're gonna wanna experiment with is the tracking of your title. So for example, if I left this out as default settings, it would look like this. But if I go ahead and increase the track and say to 50, you know, it opens up the title a little bit and you can even go further, you know, on the tracking and, you know, get some unique, you know, looks with your title and whatnot. You know, this is, I think it's fine. We can keep it at hundred, but go ahead and experiment with leading, tracking and the font size. It's very important that you experiment with the font size. We can continue to add some more contrast in here by selecting our first word or the second word. Probably the bigger words are better to do this on. And I can set this to another color here so it may be like pink or whatever color that makes sense for the video you're working on. And this continues to create contrast. And I would like to actually, you know, tilt this a little bit, skew it. So one thing we could do here is a little bit of an advanced technique here is uh, we italics our title by coming over here to the italics icon and you know it's italic but then we go up to effect distort and we add a transform and there's a skew property in here and we can skew our title in either direction and you can see just by making sure that we have our words italic it makes a huge difference so those are some cool techniques that you can apply to just make your text you know nice and laid out and now for our third technique, we need to animate this thing. And I'm gonna keep this clean. I wanna keep it simple. I wanna keep it easy for anyone to do this without trying too hard. I wanna be able to do this really quick. So make sure we're here at the beginning of our timeline. Open up your title layer, go to animate, hit that little triangle button right there. And we're gonna add a position. And we'll come here to the position parameter and you come here to Y. We're just bringing it down by a little bit. And then let's click on this add button and go to property and we'll set an opacity set the opacity down zero percent oh no our text is gone don't worry about it we'll open range selector one add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward i don't know maybe a second and a half set this up to 100 percent select both these keyframes hit f9 on your keyboard to make them easy easy keyframes and now you have a nice and subtle animation here but it's not good enough for me so there's graph editor icon right here 
and make sure that start parameter is selected and you see where we have our keyframes select one of the keyframes and we're just gonna drag out this vertice you know and the bottom vertice here and this is gonna do some nice animation so let's take a look here and now our animation is so unique it's amazing and that was super easy to do however we want to animate it out too and instead of just copying these keyframes and pasting them at the end to have the same exact animation let's actually animate it off from the start here again and you can't just undo that so what we'll do here is we'll grab our range selector one and we'll go up to edit duplicate we'll open up range selector two and we'll come here to the end of our timeline say like four seconds or so and we'll set our start down to zero percent and the end down to zero percent then we'll add a keyframe for start again come here to the end of our animation and we'll set this up to 100 percent and now the animation comes in from the front side and that's really cool make both keyframes easy ease keyframes go back to the graph editor and we will smooth it out again and just like that and then one other technique we can do is hit S on keyboard for scale add a keyframe for that move it forward by a few frames and just scale this down so this gives like a little quick jump and we'll make the last keyframe an easy easy keyframe by hitting F9 we'll select both keyframes copy them and right before we animate off we'll paste those in there right click those keyframes keyframe assistant and go to time reverse keyframes title comes in gives us a little scale down to say the animation is done scales out and we animate out you know super clean animation for our title and it's super clean just like what it says so for tip number four we have a very important tip it's definitely overlooked but incredibly important which is compositing your title over footage or any created background inside of after effects and if we want to be able to composite with like a nice motion graphic background you know we can just quickly you know, add something of your choice and you know now we have a background that we need to be able to composite and you see this is kind of hard to read so one technique that you can apply really quick is on your background hit here and keyboard for opacity and lower the opacity and you see that stands out way better now but i'm gonna show you a little bit of a more advanced technique than this so so let's say we have like a realistic scenario here and we have a video clip and this is a clip i shot you know a very long time ago but what we can do here is go to layer new solid and you know make sure this solid is black click OK and boom there's that and what we'll do here is we'll come here to maybe like a second we'll hit P on our keyboard for position we'll add a keyframe for that we'll move you know the beginning of our timeline and we'll set this black solid to be above our composition like this all right then we'll make the last keyframe an easy easy keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard and then all we're gonna do is hit T on our keyboard for opacity and lower down the opacity of this layer this way you know and lower the opacity until you know blends super nice together this way you know you can have the start of a video clip and then boom you can drop down your title so and one thing to do is make sure you enable motion blur as well so now we have a creative technique that just you know helps us composite our title together with our footage and you know we have all these nice simple and clean and easy to do techniques to make our title look really nice so for our bonus tip i'm always looking for small and creative ways to enhance my projects inside of after effects and one of these elements i love to apply to my motion graphics is something called accent motion graphics if you guys watch my videos you know i love using these and this is what i mean by accent motion graphics you see just a little small motion graphics that you can add to help make your you know composition pop and and if you want to learn how to create these individually i have tutorials on them but also if you want to be able to save time i have these built in into our motion graphics starter pack and let me show you how easy it is to do this first of all i built this to help you save time while producing amazing work and also being able to enhance your work within under about a minute's worth of time let me show you how this works so for example if we need a title no problem we can browse through a hundred of our pre-made titles and we can easily preview them when you find a title that you like we can just click on apply and it automatically applies it to our composition and there's our title all we have to do is go into that composition and we have two parameters here that we can change we'll come here and change out our text and then we can easily come to our control layer make any quick changes here to our the sizing and the coloring and we'll come back into our main composition and quickly if we want to add those accent motion graphics that i was talking about we can come here to our motion graphics folder and we can add any of these single shapes or we can go to clusters which are built to help you save time so for example i can add these accent graphics by clicking apply and now we have some really cool accent motion graphics to spruce up our title and then we go to backgrounds we can go through the categories to find a background that we like so maybe i like this one we'll click on apply and by using the lowered opacity technique on any background we can make any title blend very well together and this just took us a few clicks to be able to just 
produce our own work without having to create this from scratch and you know it's just enough details to get the job done so if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack that link will be in the description and this will be on our website and of course your purchase will be supporting our channel and allow us to continue to post these tutorials for free and of course if you're looking to save time we have about 60 accent titles currently in here and they all already have accent motion graphics applied to it so you know you can have your title already enhanced you know without having to do it yourself so that wraps up our tip video on creating clean typography with after effects and think of ways that you can implement these techniques and other types of work maybe you're doing work in you know adobe illustrator photoshop or you're doing titles in premiere these techniques are able to be applied in other software just the methods might be a little bit different so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description always be creating